I think it's on. I think it's on. Um, what do I have to do here? I have to do that, and I have to do that. The camera's already on. It's on me? I think Linda did that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. If I leave it on that, that's live. That's not the 45 second delay. Right. I'm kind of nice. I can't put that on the floor, can I? All right. All right. Here we go. Mm. Right to far as I will. I'll put that in here. Thursday, June 28th. That's long gone. And we have, I got this backwards. It goes this way. And then I lean on that one. There we go. There we go. Okay. We have Leslie, University Residence Life. What? Cambridge, Massachusetts. A whole bunch of things I didn't think went together for that address, but that's all right. Service Dog Project team. Leslie University students held a fundraiser this fall as part of a community service and social event. They decided to donate to your organization to help continue with the work that you do. I hope this money order reaches you well. Our students are happy to be able to send $191. We're big fans of the Residence Life at the Residence Life office. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that terrific? That's great. Thank you very much. Leslie University Residence Life, Cambridge, Massachusetts. That's good because that it sounds like it's one of those sort of places that can stand a little entertainment, not glad we're to be entertaining them. Okay, next problem. You can get that one. Danvers Animal, my word. Danvers Animal Hospital. Well, we might as well look at that while we're sitting here. Yeah. Stuck in here. <laughs> <coughs> exam. This is rabies. Rabies exam for one year. Now thirty dollars and sixty cents. It was twenty six a long time ago, but it's okay. So now it's up to thirty. But it's not. I don't want to have them examined. You know, because they charge fifty seven dollars and eighty cents for an examination before they give them the rabies shot. Don't have to do that with my dogs, please, and thank you. Just give them the shot. Huh. Hmm. See, here's another one where Gabby, rabies shot, and the, and the uh, exam was complimentary. That's what it's supposed to be. Let us see who got spayed that cost so much money. So it's eight hundred and thirteen dollars, which is not terrible, but I just do like to keep my eye on that damn thing because that one is just fifty-seven eighty. That just looks a little odd to me. Let's just figure out what that one was. 
Let's put that in the icebox here. Mm. You can have that. And we have Harold and Wanda. Harold and Wanda. What's going on in there? Harold and Wanda. On the pecans again. Playful again, huh? Um, but there's too many dogs. Get up there and lie down. Get up and lie down. I was thinking of getting up. Don't do that. No. Mary Hilliker, I was going to uh, get out the basket. Was it? Ah! No, don't grab anything. Carlene and crew. And clothes for chicken bricks in memory of Jody's father and some cash from the fun fund. Glad that the intern program is helping to get special projects done. You were so right when you told that helicopter mom that 90% of the work of volunteers and interns at Service Dog Project does is not involve working with the dogs. Playing with them and loving them is just a bonus for us. I so admire your work of providing dogs for some folks who deserve some helping paws. Sassy Bell. Well, isn't that nice, Sassy Bell? Thank you very much. And she needs chicken bricks. And she needs to have the chicken bricks in there. So that goes in here. That goes in here. And she says, I know the voices in my head are not real, but sometimes their ideas are just awesome. <laughs> I hate mosquitoes. I may, I may be delicious, but I don't give out free samples. <laughs> I made a huge to-do list for today. I just can't figure out who's going to do it. Hey, hey, hey. What made that dog yell? She bit May's head. She bit May's head? I smacked May? Hit the wrong one, didn't I? Find your manners. Who had that? Yep, who had that? Kong. Whose Kong was it? That one was empty, but it originally was hers. Why don't we get it give it back to her? perfect for each other, but the alarm clock keeps trying to break us up. <laughs> I prefer my kale with a silent K. All right, that's a good one. Huh. Okay, those are good ones. And you can have that one. You will do that. And we have Dion. Diane or Dion from Toronto. Carleen and staff and all the volunteers, thank you for all you do. I enjoy watching the puppies and donkeys. Thanks for making our days a little brighter. Wasn't that wonderful? Diane. Two chicken bricks, please. Okay, that goes in there, and then this goes in the pot. And we did that. Okay, so now we get into... I may have ordered some of these things, so this might not be as exciting as some people are going to think it is. Okay, so this is... from anybody special that I can find out. Oh, come on. Here we go. Aha! That's to fix the hoses. I gotta fix. We have, there are two problems here. <laughs> that are talking about. 
One is we have 100 foot hoses where we need 10 foot hoses. And we have 100 foot extension cords where we need 10 foot extension cords. So I bought ends. And that's what I'm going to do tomorrow or the next day. And this goes in my plumbing department. Oops, missed. Okay. Is gets cut down some of those great big long hoses. So every time you use a hose, you gotta wind this mess up again. You know, it's very big. Okay, here we have some nice poop pickers. Well, isn't that wonderful? There we go with the bags and all. We got some outdoor ones. Nice mixture there. Okay. Linda's gonna like that. Who's it from? I don't know, but Linda's gonna like the box. Ann Cooper, the Woodlands, Texas. Okay, and thank you. And thank you for the box. So we'll move those into some other container and then give Linda the box back again. Yes, so she likes those, that's that shape box. And we have Lynn Glenn, Syracuse, New York. Maybe. Oh, okay. I'm not sure who that is. Okay. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. Prints very nicely. Hello, Carlene and everyone at Service Dog Project. Get out of here, you yuppie, whatever it is. And clothes are a couple of organic products for Mo and the rest of the herd to keep them all evil flying, bitey things like mosquitoes, flying by bees, etc. I looked around online for something that was safe for humans and animals and that would work if found this line of products to try. The first is the main product from Green Horse Organics called Total Horse Protection. It's supposed to protect and heal existing bites, scratches, problems, skin problems, to help calm and relax and condition the skin and coat. The second product, the Rump On version of Total Horse Protection called Roll On Fly Off for faces, ears, bellies, etc. for equines, too skittish, about spray bottles. I also received a free mini bottle of the spray, so that's inside as well. The products are safe to be reapplied if when needed, as there are no toxins or pesticides to worry about. Let us know if these help, we can get more as needed. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got. Oh, a lot of paper. <laughs> We're going to throw it on the ground. <laughs> okay. Then we have we have those. We'll put this there. And we have a spray bottle. Ooh. The sprayer. That's a good thing. I think that's what we got. I think that's what I've been. Yes. Okay. So, total horse protection. Roll on, fly on. Huh. Okay. We'll give it a try. And then this goes on here. Okay. I'm going to put that in here at the same time. Oh, there you go. I'm going to put that in here. And that one in here, too. There we go. Okay, we got it. Let's see what we got. says from Lewis and Strasburg, Pennsylvania, and it's going to somebody else. Well, that's, those are the people involved somehow. Lewis from Strasburg, Pennsylvania, and Michelle, Michael, oh, Michelle. How do you, how do you 
spell Michael? M-I-C-H-A-E-L. Oh, so M-I-C-H-E-L-E -E is by Michelle? Yes. Okay, Michelle. Learn something new every day. Ho, oh, ho, ho. Ho, ho. Good deal. We have some dough things. Moisturizer and conditioner and all kinds of dove products here. Look at this. Wow. Hair therapy. Very grateful to got to dig down the bottom. So grateful to have it last night. Oh, yeah. Huh, they're not wonderful. Okay. I'm sure we will enjoy them. It smells great. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. When you opened the box, it was like, whoa. Well, help yourself. <coughs> we can use this for your wasp thing, right? Yeah, that's what that's supposed to be over there. <coughs> Anita Fiorillo, <laughs> Chatham, New York. Okay. Oh, we got a to toy box. A to toy box here. Here we go. Here we go, Carlene, that's me. Oh, missed. Wow. Oh, wow. She's old. Spend this check where you need it. Well, we certainly will do that. Thank you very much. Uh, she said she already... <laughs> buys her, herself every month. This bag of pepperoni treats has been sitting in my spare bath waiting for a box to fill up. Meanwhile, one of Giselle's distant relatives, Mickey the Mouse, took a chunk out of the corner. I figured you of all people wouldn't be bothered by this and treats would be eaten by their intended audience. Best of all, thanks. Anita Firolo. Thank you very much. Of course, that's not going to bother me a bit. Here you go, we can have that. Yeah, I don't I don't feel enough. Oh, it's just she's, she's got tape it maybe. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, just got tape. Just got tape, maybe it's fine. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. And we have a a lamby thing. Another lamby thing. Treats, some doggy treats and things like that. And what are these? Oh, here we go. We'll put these back in here. And we have some eyeglass things. Yay! Lots of eyeglass things. Wow. Okay. Here you go. We'll put them in the eyeglass department. Yes. And we have fire starters. Oh, for the fire starting department. We'll put the pepperoni back in there. Get out of here. Over there in the corner. 
Oh, thank you very much. Uh, we'll take patties. Turkey and sweet potato patties. All right. All righty. Okay. Why don't we put those in our dog treat department? Thank you very much. Little boy, where are they coming from? I gotta shut off the sound. There we go. There we go. Okay. Haley, you're on. Oh, brother. Um, where's the other sister? Who? Where's the other sister? Down in the barn. Um, we're gonna swap tomorrow, probably. Earlier, I tried to throw a Kong over there, and it bounced back at me. So someone commented on that. Um, we already have a dog, not a Dane, named Wanda. But how about the next boy named be named Harold? <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Um, Harold and Wanda. Bunch of people. Um, have they said when Sir Richard will be at Crazy Acres and on camera? Nobody said told me yet. I thought it was supposed to be today, wasn't it? I heard that. But I do happen. not know. progress on getting a donation from the elevator people? I haven't heard from them yet. They just probably got the letter. Okay. So, so it's not time for pink envelopes yet? No. Okay. Um, may Bentley have a pepperoni too? Question mark. Who? Bentley. He's asleep. Yeah. He's also slightly fat. Um, he in here's on a diet. Yes. How was Carleen's day? Carly day was warm. I did get a couple things done. I made an arrow. I'll take a picture of it later. Do that. I, we, needed, we needed to label the recycling trash barrel, and so I took cans and I made an arrow out of cans. I ran out of energy, so she had to go fix it up, straighten it out a little bit. It was hot. I don't know how hot. you stayed outside all that time. Was, I put that together. It was not easy. I had to sit down between <laughs> between kids. I don't blame you. Oh. Um, did you do any training? She's learning. She's learning about not jumping at me for food. Do the donkeys get ticks? I don't. I don't know. They certainly get bitten by flies. Oh, yeah. A little potential is there. Service dog project. write me a note on paper again and, and, and so we get the whole business together in one spot. So what was your diagnosis and stuff? It was when you were in Virginia? Virginia? Okay, guys, we'll do what? Oh, <laughs> yeah, give me the one that makes you fall down or need a dog. Okay. Okay, and you are a veteran? You're a veteran? Okay. 
Why don't you put it all back down on paper again and, and send it to me again and say that you're traveling or whatever, what's the problem? Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye. That was confusing. He's in Alaska now. I think he said Virginia. And I, it sounded like I told him to find somebody more local. Not being able to figure out whether he was in Alaska. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, whatever. That makes sense. Um, Carlene, I read where Great Danes originally were called the boar hounds because boars were what they were bred to hunt. Yes. Their ears were cropped to prevent boar tusks from tearing them. Yep. Could be. That's interesting. Every time I read Harold and Wanda, I think it's Harold and Maud. <laughs> I had a dog named Maud. I like I like Maud. Maud was one of my favorite people. She was very good. The Dane? No, no, Maud, the person. Oh. In shows. She played um, she played a lot of things. Uh B A B A B R B R Oh yes, yes, yes. And then there is Maud. Right? Huh? And then there's Maude, yeah, right? And then there's Maude. Okay. Um, but she also played in Annie. No. Oh, come on. I'm terrible. Oh, dear me. I know who you're talking about, though. Right. She was good in that one. We will always be boys and buddies. Friends, sisters, and pals. Oh. <laughs> That's bad that I can't remember that one. That's bad. You remember a whole lot of other things that I have <laughs> not. <laughs> oh. Oh. Lucille Ball played her. It was a Broadway show. I loved it. Oh. She ends up trying to ride a hunter in Kentucky or something and a mother-in-law who belches and oh my word I'm sure someone will come up for it with it come on guys tell me who has Gabby gone home yet I don't know who's here yes I believe. come up the top here somebody's okay. got to tell me that either that story Let's see. Um, she was golden girls too name me anti name okay one of my favorite Broadway shows. <coughs> shows. Is it? Andy Maine. Um, North Shore Music Theater just did Maine. Really? Yep. That was a good show. Um, how's the Yuppie Puppy training going? The Yuppie Puppy, I, I got in trouble with that because <coughs> because the dish of the Yuppie Puppy ended up in the sun and got hot. And so I moved it back into the shade, which is fine now, but it still is awfully hot. The dish is so damn hot that I just oh my gosh. haven't fooled with it. Um, Any update on Shannon and Zeke? I have not heard a word. I can see that one from here because it's capital letters. Uh, the ultimate question, what's for dinner? Ponderosa. <laughs> Pomodori. Yeah. Pomodori. Anyone pregnant yet? I hope two of them. I hope to. <coughs> um, AJ suggests a name of Harold. May I also add a thought? Um, use, uselessness idea. One called H.W. or Leander, nicknamed Leah. Hmm. Good Lord. <laughs> what, who are we trying to name here now? Puppies that aren't conceived yet or exactly. born yet that, or whatever. That's a no-no. <laughs> no, we don't do that. Yeah. Oh, there's so much water over the dam between now and then. Yeah. So much changes in a day. I can't oh. imagine a month. Um, who is hiding off camera? If it is Marge, too late. She has already been on camera in the kitchen. It is nice to put a face with a name. There you go, Marge. <laughs> Was the cruise ship issue straightened out? As far as I was concerned, I had to hear more details before we decided it was specifically the cruise ship. 
because if she was going to get off in Bermuda, she had a problem that she had not done something, and that was her problem. But she said she was not going to get off the ship. If that's the case, then I think there is an issue. But I, it's very complicated, and I was waiting kind of for her lawyer to give us feedback on what, you know, I don't, I don't know enough details on it yet. But it's not the, what we expected, that they got mad at the dog and threw her off. That, that was not the problem. They got mad at the paperwork and had problems. Dearest Carlene, the other day, Camop Lee caught a picture of Josie having developed teats. Is that something that just happens, or gulp? Could she be, um, prego now? One of the donkeys. I know that. Which one? I mean, I... No. We I, thought she was pregnant for a while, but she wasn't. Then she's not. Because so. <laughs> we'd have had her way over a year. <laughs> right. We haven't... We don't have any boy things here. Great. Um. Hi. Oh, that'll be the food. Yep. Chaos, it's okay. Yes. Oh, I know you. Thanks. 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 Chaos. Chaos, we got it. Thanks so much. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions before Carlene can eat her dinner? No, they don't have any more questions. All right, no more questions. Good night.